Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes, and Gigi the Mini Golden Doodle. Happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thursday, November 25th, 2021. It's going to be a great day. I'm going to take Gigi for a nice little walk around the neighborhood. And then around 12 o'clock today, we're going to start the live stream. All right, this video is going to be clips and highlights of that. And why is my dog running away like that? Let's go see where she's going. We go. Where? We go. See a squirrel? You see any squirrels? Hey, get over here. <sighs> they love the squirrels. Good morning. They love the squirrels. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go have a great day today. All right. One of the first things you need to know, and the most important thing you need to know about deep frying a turkey. What are you doing? You just did your business. Come on, let's go. Let's go. The most important thing you need to know is that the bird has to be 100% thawed. If it's not, expect serious, serious injuries and or your fatality because that bird will explode. Now, you may be asked, why, Mikey, why would the bird explode? And it all has to do about density. All has to do about density. Google it. Let Google answer your question in more detail. But it is about density. Oh my God, it's Thanksgiving day and yet they're in there working. Construction, interesting. All right, the second thing to keep in mind, and it's also a necessity, the bird must be dry. Any water on there will have a similar reaction to when you have a steam system and that steam traveling at around 55 miles an hour hits a pocket of water where it shouldn't be. You have that banging sound because that water is violently exploding. So if, you, but keep in mind, the oil is not at a temperature of 200 and something degrees. The oil is at a temperature of 375 degrees. So imagine, imagine what could possibly happen if there's some water on that bird and you lower it into 375 degree peanut oil. Not gonna be good. All right, the next piece of crucial information that you must follow is do not, un uh, under any circumstances, I don't care if there's a blizzard outside or it's, pouring raining or windy if you got unbearable conditions outside do not under no circumstances deep fry your home i don't care if you live in a taj mahal or a shack on the side of an ocean right i don't care it is not worth burning your place down to the ground and that is what could happen if something goes wrong. all right now that we went over the basics everyone give me a thumbs up Smash that thumbs up button, guys. Smash it. St. Mike commands thee to smash that thumbs up button. What are you waiting for? Do it now. And some of you aren't going to do it. I don't know why. It takes a split second. Well, nonetheless, it is what it is. All right. Rule of thumb. 375 degrees of oil. Usually takes about 25, 30 minutes to cook and your outdoor uh, conditions may vary that number. But rule of thumb, 375 degrees in the peanut oil and two to three minutes per pound. Now that that's out of the way, let me take, let's take a look at the turkey. No, it's not her. <laughs> it's the turkey that's in the refrigerator in the garage. Don't worry, Gigi, we'll never cook you, even though you're so delicious and sweet and yummy and warm. All right. Let me grab the papers that got delivered today and let's head in. But first, it's time for some coffee. Start the day off right. But not just any coffee. Out of this fine machine right there. I drink, let me show you what I drink up here. There's a little bag of it left. This is the best coffee in the world. 100% Kona coffee from Hawaii. Amazing, amazing coffee. And this Royal Kona came from the Big Island. Love it. 
You can get this online on their website, but much cheaper if you buy it in the store there. All right, let's head over to the garage. The fresh turkey got delivered yesterday. So let's see what it looks like. All right. Oh, by the way, would anyone want this? The Nespresso machine by DeLonghi? Um, before we renovated the whole house, this is what I had in the kitchen. If you guys want it, let me know. Local pickup is available. It comes with those pods. The machine, it works. It's a great machine. It's just been sitting on the floor of my garage for, I don't know, when did I start construction? Last July, so almost a year and a half. Yeah, so, all right. All right, let me try to pull this out and show it to you. Let's make a right. space. Here is the turkey. This, over the past several years, we've been getting our fresh turkeys from Carving Block, Glock Kosher Butcher in Cedarhurst. And this bird is almost 20 pounds. See that? Almost 20 pounds. Used by 11, 26, 21. Yeah, no shit. And uh, not bad considering it's Glock Kosher. $7.99 a pound. Not bad. Not bad. And it looks like they marinated in something. But nonetheless, we in a, in a few hours, I'm going to take this out and then let it sit room temperature for a half an hour while the oil's heating up. And I'm also going to make sure I pat everything dry. And then we'll have, we'll start the show. But for right now... It's time to go get breakfast. I love breakfast, especially like on a Sunday or on a holiday day. Let's see. And Thomas Johnson said I couldn't make moves. I said, Mikey Pipes, who are you? I'm like, you don't know. And there's the, there's my oils. I don't need all of them. I just, I want to make sure I had. And this is what's from left over from last year. And this is the transfer pump that's going back to Home Depot. <laughs> there's a uh, furnace and a coil another coil and my outdoor ice machine and a backup out ice machine it's an aquapana but they delivered the wrong ones they delivered the ones in in a plastic bottle not glass and i was like no bueno what's wrong with you don't you know i only drink water when it comes out of a glass container uh, all right we're heading over to bagel boss and hewlett to get some bagels for the family maybe even some fresh uh cream cheese with lox and I also want to go to uh, stop by the soup market which is right next door and then I want to go to Ace Hardware which is also right next door to Bagel Boss and I need a new thermometer for the turkey all right, all right look at this idiot <laughs> I have no idea how to drive all right here we are Bagel Boss I got Food Town next door and I got Ace Hardware next door to that all right, all right. She is a very, very, very needy dog. Very needy. Let me explain how. Most dogs will eat out of a dog bowl. The only thing she eats out of a bowl, well, she, nothing actually, she drinks the water, that's it. <sighs> that's right, Gigi, tail wagger. So, we have two choices. This is what you have to do with her. Ah, 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 sit. Sit. Okay, good dog. We have two choices. We have tiny Thanksgiving Day dinner. And we have little lamb chop stew. Okay, which one do you want? Which one? Which one do you want? Oh, you want tiny Thanksgiving Day dinner? Yeah? Okay, first... She has to lick the wrapper. That's how you get her motivated to eat because this dog doesn't realize that she's hungry. All right, that's, that's what we do first, all right? Now that's out of the way. We take this, and this may go one of two ways. Well, let's just start with the, the container. And then she'll eat the rest, generally. All done? Yep, okay. Now, I have to hold the plate, otherwise it moves across the floor of the kitchen. <laughs> One time, <laughs> it's probably about a year ago, the plate ended up all in the living room. And actually more than a year ago, because a year ago we were under construction, so about, maybe about two years ago. Oh, come on, eat. GG. 
Hey, I hold a few. Wow, look at that, not interested. All right, let's see if I can make it more appetizing by spreading it out and maybe she'll lick that. Yep. so difficult <laughs> oh Gigi we love you anyway and you're gonna get a younger brother soon yeah yeah you don't know that yet because you have no idea what I'm saying but you're gonna have a younger brother soon all right maybe if I put some cheese on it you'll eat it someone's calling on Thanksgiving really come on they had oil Mikey Pipes doesn't work on oil. Only people who drive bread trucks work on oil. Not, you know, not literally, but. Come on. You're not hungry? There's cheese on there. Huh? No. Not interested, huh? Ah, oh, you're a very special dog. Any other dog in the world would tear up that apart. But not you. All right, Cheech. I guess I'm having breakfast by myself. Right. It is 9.17, Thursday, November 25th. Got my home fries that I made. I got my bagels from Bagel Boss. I got my aquapana, and I got my iced coffee. And I got Mike Holmes. Mike Holmes right there. Holmes on Holmes. Let's go. And the youngest son just came back from Israel. Came back with a present for me. So it says Mikey Pipes, right? It does say Mikey Pipes. Mikey Pipes. Mikey Pipes. What did he give you? I told him it says. He didn't give me this. What is this? I told him it says. What is it? No, no, no. This is the thing. I told him it says. Oh, well, hold on. We have to show the date, but we could do. Oh, Jake and Jacqueline, who's getting engaged. What is this thing anyway? What is that? Oh, hold on. Wow. <laughs> Too, it's only the only thing that's that's slightly only thing that's bigger than that is your mother's engagement ring. Jacqueline watches your YouTube videos. But she doesn't know when. She has no idea when. I told her it was next year uh, anyway. Don't let her see her ring. I told her it was next year. Don't, don't let her see her ring. Okay. All right. I start preparing this thing. I'll let it sit out for a little while. And get all the the water off of it and make sure she's kind of dry. 12 o'clock, we're gonna put her in the deep. All right, there's the bird, de-stuffed. You can talk. It's de-stuffed. Now I'm gonna, normally, most people would use butter, but to trying to keep it kosher, we're gonna inject the bird with margarine instead. It has similar qualities and tastes, but it's all good. There's the turkey that was in there. I'm going to start outside and cleaning, going in the shed and digging in the shed for the deep frying pot, the, the stand for propane tank, all that good stuff. And we're going to set it up all the way over there. All right. As I said earlier, only deep fry a turkey outside, away from other houses, away from structures, preferably on a cement slab like that basketball court it's perfect and thank god it's a nice beautiful day today you know we have nice blue skies a little little bit of cover a little bit and let's go to the shed let's go let's go outside and get what we need the shed oh hi Gigi having fun outside we're gonna get the stuff from the shed you're gonna help we'll bring it over here in the, the outdoor shower so it rinse everything out and you know wash everything down it's a big pot it's not gonna fit in the kitchen all right let's go to the shed oh, oh 
be prepared. Dum dum dum. dum. Uh, typical sheds. All right. There it is. There's a turkey burner. Sorry, the burner, the pot. This is by Bayou Classic. Had this for several years. Works out very well. And somewhere here, where's the pool equipment? Um, that's the extra one I just bought. Okay, we got one there and another one there. And I gotta dig through this. Right. So there is the station, right there. Got my propane tank. I got a couple backups if needed, and the burner. Now let's come over here <clears throat> and. There is my pot. We're gonna to give us a quick rinse. I got the hose all to take off to the back. I'll get some soap and a sponge from the kitchen. Clean that. I'll bring this inside. This is easy enough to clean inside. So we have the lid. We're gonna use. We're gonna use this temperature probe. I'm not, I'm not sure which one that is right now. This is an injection probe for the margarine. This is the hook to lower the turkey down on this. All right, this thing holds the turkey. So we're gonna clean that in the kitchen. This one is, yeah, this is the one for the bird. Okay. We have a glove and I have an extra regulator. When I purchased this originally, this was dead. Oh, I thought this was dead. In fact, how many of you can attest to this? You get a brand new propane tank and it doesn't work. It's happened to me three times. And as you know, I cook with natural gas. There's my gas grill right there, right? How many times has that happened to you where you get that bullshit 30 gallon propane tank and you hook it up and you immediately say like, fudge, my grill's broken, but it's not, right? It's the tank. And that's why I have backups, because even though I just got a brand new one yesterday from Home Depot, it doesn't necessarily mean it's good. F Home Depot. Yeah, low prices are just the beginning. <laughs> and here is the syringe to inject the butter into the bird. I don't use this. I don't use this. We're going to use this. I'm going to take the lid inside with that, with that, and this. I'm going to go wash this in the kitchen. All right. I spent the last 15 minutes setting up for the YouTube live stream. I'm using YouTube Studio and got everything configured here. And we already have two people waiting. Look at that, very nice. So I have, I'm gonna bring the laptop out and I got an extension cord to keep the MacBook Pro, sorry, MacBook Air. The wife has the Pro. And we'll bring that out there. Hopefully the Wi-Fi is good. I very frequently upload videos from the cabana, so it should be fine over there. Two people waiting, already got one thumbs up. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And I only have two left, but this is the Carhartt. This is the rain defender. This thing keeps you warm all winter long. I got two left. I got a large and an extra large. No, 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 these are very expensive. <laughs> the wife just asked. This is embroidered in the back, right? And it's also embroidered in the front, right? And if you want one, one of two that are remaining, you're also gonna get your name embroidered in the front, whatever you want embroidered in the front, as long as it's within, you know, you know nothing crazy. And it's a little steep in price, guys, because all in, this cost me 200 bucks. You're not including postage to send to you, but if you want a large or an extra large Rain Defender Carhartt hoodie, that's great for the winter, 200 bucks, and it's yours. All right, so with less than an hour before the premiere, let's melt this stick of margarine, and we're gonna inject the margarine into the bird with this injector right here. All right, and then I'm gonna place her on this beast looking thing. Okay, let 
that melt. All right, I think that's about good. Checking out the WhatsApp group chat. Now, I'm gonna take my injector. Just make sure they're all, all melted. And I'm gonna suck in the margarine with the syringy looking thing. Before you stick it. Oh, my cup runneth over. I keep wiping the cameras and keep making them dirty. I know, that's what I do. I'm a filthy, filthy animal. Yes, you are. Yep, I know. Don't tell me something I don't already know. <laughs> All right. There is the turkey. All right, she is basically bone dry. A little bit of moisture right there, but in the next about 40 minutes, we'll be good to go. All right, let's see how many people are early and anxious. Okay, three people, not bad. Very nice, that'll grow. Hey, Robert McGinnis, St. Mike, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family and crew, Suffolk in the house. Hey, Robert, thank you. Dave Halland, happy Thanksgiving, Mike, to you and your family. Be blessed and stay safe, brother. Uh, love the community, guys. We got a little time to kill, so there's all the trimmings all set up. I think we got some, uh, some schnitzel as well. Let's see what we got here. We got some cranberry stuff there. We have in here. Let's see. Double wrapped. No glove, no love. Yeah, I got some shit. That's basically just fried chicken cutlets. For you guys who don't know what that means. There's mashed potatoes. Love mashed potatoes, by the way. Gravy. Uh, this is too annoying. All right. Let's check out the table. We have my wife and I. Two of our four boys, one of the boy's girlfriend, the other girlfriend, the my best friend's oldest boy and his girlfriend, and maybe my mother. <laughs> no, I don't think. She's invited, but she's not coming. We're all set up, ready for Hanukkah. Look at that. All right. And this was the side project I had on Sunday. I had to install the waste and water for this sink, and I think it did pretty well. All right, I got a vent up there. I ran water lines up in copper from all the way over there on the crawl space, and did a trap there, and this faucet sucks though, by the way. And I needed to also do a, um, I thought I had to do a, a drain, a floor drain for the ice machine, but no, it actually came with a pump, and this discharge hose here is that pump, but I gotta create a little tra trap there. All right. Never ends, buddies, never ends. All right, let me probably take the dog for a walk real quick because I'm not gonna be able to walk her until after the turkey is done, and if we estimate 30 minutes to warm up the oil, and then another 40 minutes for the bird to cook. And then we pretty much will be done with the live stream. So, yeah. All right, let's get some prep work done. There is my, I believe this is 32 quarts. I don't know, I got this at a Bayou Classic website a few years ago. This is, I believe, the third year I'm using this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna fire it up and let the flame heat off any residual water that's on there. 
Okay, I just send me an email with you, with your information and uh, an offer. You know, I think we have six keys to that sprinter that burnt down, that 2020 sprinter that burned down. I think we have six keys. All right. Again, I have no idea. I have no idea what it's worth. All right, but let me go. It's Thanksgiving, I, and again, I'm just took the, answered the call as a courtesy. Maybe someone had a question. You know, all right, no problem. <laughs> no problem. All right, send me an email. Thank you. Bye. Wow, this guy just called me. I am picking up the phone today, but the guy just called me and said that, hey, I bought your Sprinter at auction and the one that burned down to the ground. And I'm like, he, he wants to me to see if I have any keys, and he'll give me any amount I want for the keys. I'm like, all right, I have my. God damn, it scared the shit out of me. All right, she's empty. All right, so turn that off now. This is the like the valve for the after the regulator, which yeah burnt that up pretty well. Um, which then goes to the burner. So this is now dry, as you can see in there. All right. So now I am gonna pour this peanut oil into there, the flame is off. Make sure the right, flame now, is off. Since this is my, I believe, third year doing this, <coughs> excuse me, I know that I normally use one and a half containers. So I saved that half remaining from last year, and we're gonna dump this whole 4.58 gallons into the Bayou class. For those of you have, who have never deep fried a turkey before, this is how you know how much oil you need to put in it. You know, the deep fryer. You take your turkey out, you, you know, make sure it's, you know, there's nothing inside of it, all this, you know, the stuffing, the giblets, whatever you call it, the, sh the crap that's inside. Make sure those are all gone. You don't want to deep fry the turkey with those in. And you put the turkey in the deep fryer. It's empty. You fill it with water until the turkey is completely submerged. And once the turkey is completely submerged, you know, just give it like another, like maybe an inch, right? And then mark the inside of the container. So let's say the turkey was in here, it's full of water, and there's my my fill point. I'm just gonna give it it's a little bit more, like about a half an inch, right? And then I'm gonna take the turkey out, and then she's got to dry. So the first year I did this, this is how it is, and that's that's the best way of knowing exactly how much oil you need to put into it. But nonetheless, nonetheless, when you have this all set up and the turkey's inside, you need to have at least five inches from the top clear. Right? Make sure you don't think this thing's not filled to the brim. You need to have at least five, seven inches from the top of the, the, the deep fryer uh, to the, water, uh, the oil level with the bird in it. Keep that in mind, it's very, very important. 11.58, let's, uh, let's start go live. All right, go live. Can you guys, hopefully you guys can still hear me. I got a valve right here. I'm also live streaming right now. Come on. There you go. I'm gonna crank that open all the way. Like that. Cool. All right. There we go. Our starting temperature is, looks to be about, uh, maybe 70 degrees. Maybe 75 degrees. It was in my garage. So this is gonna take about half an hour. All right, for the behind the scenes, it is 12.07 and we are at about 125 degrees there. Excellent. Come on, let's go. All right, yes, we love you. Come on, let's go. What? doing you're making her bark uh. <clears throat> all right 12 14 and we are at 190 dish degrees you know one of the hardest parts about deep frying a turkey one of the hardest parts about deep frying a turkey is outdoor conditions. If it's windy and cold, it is gonna take a very, very, very long time to... Oh, you wanna say hi? Look. Look, say hi. Say hi. 
It's gonna take a very, very long time to deep fry, I mean, sorry, to heat up that oil. A very, very long time, right? Hey, sit, shake. Okay, see, you're somewhat trained, even though you're five and a half years old. Um, the first year that I deep fried the turkey, it was cold, it really was. And I set it up right there and an hour into it, it only went up like 50 degrees. I'm like, fudge, like, what am I gonna do? Like, this is gonna take forever. And it did, it took forever. Even after I put it in the shed over there, it, you know, and I, you really shouldn't do that, but I was like, yeah, I'm doing it, whatever. And it finally heated up, but dinner was delayed about an hour. <laughs> it really was. For later today, let's see what our temperature is. We are right about hair, see hair. I see you next Tuesday hair above 300 degrees. David Windman, happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. Let's go, Brandon. David Windman, hopefully you are, oh, you are now, already in love. Most important rule, make sure you turn off the source of flame. All right, it is off. My temperature is a sea hair over 350. Jake, you know what sea hair stands for? Absolutely not. C-U-N-T, hair. See you next Tuesday. I ain't got it. Now, <laughs> hopefully this works out well, the bird is dry. This is going to take about a minute to go in. While I'm doing this, I'm very, very slowly, very slowly lowering it to the bottom of the frying pot. You're also gonna notice that your temperature is gonna quickly drop. Right now, we went from 350 to about two, sorry, to 320, maybe 325. And we're almost done submerging the bird. This bird came from carving block. They are a glott kosher butcher in Cedarhurst, New York, in the five towns. And every every uh, Thanksgiving, that's where I get the bird from. Now, the turkey is completely submerged in there. A little bit right there on the top, though, is a concern for me, but we are boiling over that. And let me show the people who are watching the live stream, all 333 of you. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. The bird, the bird is being cooked. Oh, so it, the rule of thumb is two to three minutes per pound. The bird is almost 20 pounds. So do the math. So if it's, if we go to two minute route, we're 40 minutes. If we go three minute route, uh, it's an hour. So at around, 40-ish minutes, we're gonna, I have a digital uh, thermometer. I'm gonna stick it in. Before I stick it, I'm gonna lick it though. You gotta lick it before you stick it. You're getting married soon. You're gonna realize that real, real quick. <laughs> All right. And then it sits for like an hour. Correct. No, you don't need about an hour, about half an hour. Oh, so this is gonna be ready to consume Um, worst case, best case scenario, about an hour and a half-ish. All right. So tell them all to come before. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The temperature dropped to a, a sea hair under 300. The fire is back on. Compliments of the big lighter. And I know Gigi wants to come in outside, but let's plug in the laptop back in. And let me, for the backup footage, the behind the scenes, it's 111. And up here, I'm working with 150 ish degrees. Let's check. No, it's not even in the meat. Down there. 
All right, 136, 134, 132. So we need, it's nowhere near done. Oh, went too deep. Let's put it right there instead. Are we in the, are we in the meat? See, certain parts are hotter than others. Let's go back over there. Yeah, 144, 138, 135, 136. All right, let's go right there again. All right. And how about right there? All right, 140-ish. So we need to cook her for a little bit more. All right, it is one. 23. I just took the bird out a moment or two ago and you're gonna say Mikey pipes it looks burnt it's burnt on the outside and that's expected with a uh, when you deep fry a turkey especially if it comes marinated with anything and I told him again this year I was like do not put any marinade on the on the bird just give me the bird but once you remove this shell all right it is a delicious delicious very moist meat of this turkey. We're gonna let this sit for half an hour and then bring her inside and maybe call. How many? Wait, let, let him off the sizzle. At least we'll be all right. That's okay. Now, oh, it's it's a full I got a multitask. <laughs> I have to multitask. No, that's good. Actually, put that back down right there. Put it right there. Okay. <laughs> Like. <laughs> By the way, the video on your phone I took is better than this to hear the sizzle. I don't know if you hear it on this. Close door. That's such a perfect like, rack for that. You gotta hear the sizzle. I hope you hear it on this. Yes or no? Can you all hear me? Oh, you will hear it because it's in your ear. No shade. Hear him? Like, no glove, no love. It's really a process. Yes, okay, very good. All right, most important rule, make sure you turn up the source of flame. All right, it is off. My temperature is sea hair over 350. Jake, you know what sea hair stands for? C-U-N-T, hair. See you next Tuesday. No, no, no. Listen, listen. It works out well, the first is dry. Come on. This is gonna take about a minute to go in. Oh, shit. Sounds right. How come it has to be like that? How many of you guys remember this character? <laughs> That's A.B. For my longtime viewers, A.B.'s in the house. The only thing we're missing is sippy cup. <laughs> sippy cup? I don't know. Sippy Cup is probably sucking on his mother's uh, tit. Oh, it's family chocolate. Like breasts. Sorry. <laughs> I'm an animal. Those lions suck, by the way. Let's go, Brandon. Now, we're going to wash out this pot. I'm going to soak it in. And I want to give a special thank, thank you to, to Navian to providing me with hot water. <laughs> but I got some dishwashing soap in there. I got hot water going in there. It won't even fit into my laundry stick, it's too tall. I got the Moen single handle. This is this ring broke when they did the signing of my house. Idiots. I got the Moen single handle. Outdoor hose faucet that delivers hot and cold water. And I am going to let this fill up. I'm a little too lazy. I'll get a uh, pair of, of uh, channel locks there and loosen up the hose and put it right in there, but I'm just too lazy. I'm going to put away the propane, put away the stand, get rid of the extension cord, and um, yeah, we'll get ready to carve it. And in bit. case you guys weren't around, let me give you a little. A little bit of a background with AB. All right, I don't know how to pull extract video from YouTube, so. AB, you left the entire tool bag at the last job, all right, which cost me over 1,500 bucks a stock. So what was the reason that you left it there? 
I said that it was a glitch in the system. It was a glitch yeah. in the system. Is the system inside that head of yours? Yeah, but it's a glitch. It's a glitch. <laughs> Hashtag, it's a glitch. Well, hold on. We got more. Slow down. Point that down. What do you mean? This gets pointed down. More, just a little bit more. Now go around the gun. <laughs> You can do it! It's gotta be pointed directly down. Don't pass go and then you can go backwards. Stop. Give it a little bit more. A little crooked. Just a little bit. A little bit. Right there. Alright, it is three o'clock. Let's it's time to carve. The bird. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be epic. Let's go to the kitchen. All right. I am gonna show you guys how we carve a bird. I have a nice big platform here to cut the bird. You can talk. I have a nice big platform here to cut. And you need a nice, good, sharp knife. Here. You're like the social media queen for your father's law firm. You might as well hold that. Very successful guy, I should mention. Very successful. We're not going to say who he is, but you could say who he, he knows is. John Lennon. You could say who he is. This, this guy... I know, but he, know, he, he knew him. Oh, shit. I can say his name? Yeah, this is good. Yeah. They probably love it too, right? Yeah. He needs an immigration lawyer. Best if immigration lawyer. The best immigration attorney. Can I say, yeah, it's public knowledge. What? That he, he represented the... Yes, it was all over yeah. social media. He represented... He is Melania Trump's immigration attorney. And he's also the mayor of Englewood, New Jersey. The one and only Honorable Michael Wilds. If you're watching, Mikey Pipes loves you. All right, let's go. Wow. Now. This guy's professional. We're just gonna cut the string off this up. bird, right? Because we need to. I don't think I can watch this. Mantle. Okay, give someone else the camera. Then. Yeah. You have to. I can't. I I can't. Really? <laughs> I don't even like turkey knife in there. No. I don't like turkey that. Throw all the shades up. This guy's a professional. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to cut oh, off all bad. of the. String. It's not really string, but it is. It's called something. I just don't know what it's called. All right. Now, I believe. No, there's more. No, it's gone. Okay. Oh no. Definitely more string. No, it's the mark it left behind. Where it was tied. Right. So uh. Now, I'm almost positive that we take, we cut off the wings. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. And then that piece. And then this piece. So. As you can see, it literally just falls apart because I deep fry this turkey. Yeah. Right? Look at that. Look how moist. That's the dark meat. Look at that. That's the dark meat. Look at that. I know I eat dark meat, but look at that. It's like, oh my Right? Look at that. That is amazing. So here's one piece. Now, wow. We don't oh, even really. Well, no, no, keep that for now. Go, oh, oh, I forgot where it is. Is it here? Oh, God. Uh, look at the juices. There's a bone right here, and I've, it's been all year since I did this, but we'll come back to that next. Yeah, okay. leave it, leave it. let's put that there. Now, let's do the other one right like there. And as you can see, I don't even need a knife to cut this. Wow. Now, it looks all nasty on the outside, wow. but we're good. Now, that's wow. a professional piece. We are going to split. Baby, come here, show them the meat inside. The breast. Okay, but I'm trying to, okay, no. Now, we have a bone here, right? And we want to cut right along the edge of this bone. You want to like, Trace, you can get in here. You want to like get in there, right up against this bone. Oh, shit. Right? Chuck, you gotta go. And I don't even need the knife anymore. Come here, Chuck. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look how sexy that looks. Right? <laughs> now, I'm a little bit hungry right now. <laughs> look how sexy that looks. Oh. Oh, God, that looks delicious. Know, how is it? How is it? How is it? Hold on. 
It's good. It's white meat. I love white meat and, and dark delicious. meat and wow. all types of meat. It's yep. just not hot right now. <laughs> All right, now. Damn. That is close. That is some good freaking turkey. Look at that. Okay, we'll come back to that one. But here's the carcass. Carcass. Wow. The backbone of this bird. You guys over here, the carcass. And there may be some. There's some nice. There's some nice piece of meat there. Look at that. It's just. It's dripping in juice. It is. Drip, drip, drip. Oh, look at it. Thanks, Maya. Here, Gigi. Mm -hmm. Wow, even the, oh, wow. She's like, wow. She's like, wow. Thank you, right. Poppy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Poppy, for this exactly. beautiful Thanksgiving another... dinner. I don't know, I got my own turkey. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, 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 that's Holy shit, this is not normal dark tasting turkey. Dark meat turkey is <laughs> Oh my god. Incredible. It's driving. Driving. Okay. Now. Wow. Hold on. Holy shit. I think. What the hell? I think, you should put, I think we should put them in the oven now. No, you don't. I'll tell you what you do. Right before you serve it, you pop it in a hot oven for like a minute. That's it. Like that? That's it. But don't cut this anymore now. Let them sit nice. No, I gotta slice up the, the, the crust. <clears throat> yeah? yeah. Wow, these these piece, dark. The piece is coming out perfectly. Yeah. Let's take off this bird skin. Because yeah, no one's gonna eat that anyway. And sure? let's take a look. <laughs> Mendel, go get some it's burnt skin, skin bro. Skin right <laughs> it's like your chip. No, the bird skin is great. It's oh, like now. Yeah. Three beer yeah. is. But that also makes you fucking. Yeah, dude, yeah. that'll make you be on the shitter for no. all next no, year Thanksgiving right also. Here. Look at this screaming. He's hungry. <laughs> this is for right now. You'll put the white meat on here. <laughs> we're going to see the grain is here. This okay. way. Right? And we're going to cut against the grain. Like that. Right? I wish I had a better knife, but look at that. Amazing. How do you how do you know if it's against the grain? You can tell by it. You can see the oh. right? It's going this way, the grain. Right. So mm -hmm. we cut against it. Right, right, I see. Oh my god. So, so even this white meat's crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Each part it's of almost it, like a fucking workout. Yeah. When you take down this turkey, this is like a workout. Each part of this cooked differently. It's amazing. Oh, I'm cutting this the wrong way. Oh, oh the flavor, the juices. So, yeah. Okay. Now. Nice preparing. That's it. A little bit more. Put in a bone here. Oh wow, I'm just ripping through the bone. I'm gonna have to watch this video to really learn for myself. Uh, oh shit. Incredible. This turkey's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's fighting now. It's giving resistance. Yeah. It's giving it's fighting. Yeah. It's a fighter. <laughs> I'm just gonna take off some of the oh, put it on yeah, that plate there. Wow, just look at this. Well. Now Did you season this at all? We have to no. You no, don't need it. You don't I'm need it. Sure it All the come. flavor. The flavor's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh now you guys God. are probably like Mikey Pipes. What the f are you doing? You're assassinating that bird. Oh, well, guess what? I do me, you do you. <laughs> <laughs> right? But here we are again. Let's just cut off. Okay, I felt that so easy. That's right there. Right there, that's right. that M piece. Oh, from. that's beauty. That pile right there. For all you well done lovers. Oh, that's okay. A fire piece you put yeah. There. And now, that let's cut. Piece, like yeah, no, this carcass board's not a real carcass board. It's a sick board. I know. It's sick board. You can I'm keeping that. it. Yeah. The grain. Don't build that out. Dude, the that's grain? straight up. Dude, right, I'm just going to. Try to go against the grain again. Saturated with a lot of shit going on here. Dude, I told you, we do Thanksgiving right. Too much juices. Right Holy shit. Mike, look at your hands right now, all the juices. Yeah. Jeez. Time. Time. Michael, you need a drink. I know. Time. Time. I need a. I need a. I need a good drink. Have you not started? Today? Oh, me? No. You haven't had a drink today? No. What's wrong with you? I know. <laughs> it's, not like, no, it's, it's not the Holy Sabbath. I'm feeling okay. It's not the Holy Sabbath. Come on. Come on. All right, I need a, I need a, a, a foil pan 
that we can put this into? Someone and gets, this could go in the oven. Can it? Yeah, that's why. This is for the white meat. Yeah. Someone get him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone get him a foil pan. This is the white meat. This whole thing. Holy shit! Look at these pieces. Oh my god. Slice to perfection. Wow. You deal with the. I'll deal with the dark meat later, you yeah? You okay. want to cater Thanksgiving? Hire Mikey Pipes, but for a, <laughs> a great cost. They can't afford it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah great. You, great. See, you should have Chuck be your promotional. I know. Oh, shit. There you go. If you can afford it. What a family, man. man. He's feeding Let's the just dog. try that skin. Try that skin. Skin's amazing. Mm. Wow. wow. Yeah, of course, grieving. Wow. It tastes He's like grieving, no? Mom? What does this skin taste like? Born? With the, here. Let me try some skin. skin. You want me to hold it? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, take here it. hold it. Give this piece. Hold it and dig oh, in. Like get, get a video of you eating it. It's pretty fucking good. Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty freaking good. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not appropriate for the viewers. <laughs> All right. We've we'll got the finished product. Oh, my God. Stay tuned for dinner. We'll Actually, display it's all the side dishes. You see those juices? Oh my, oh my God. The dark Cut it, cocky. Huh? You know this ain't good. This helicopter has been flying around. It looks like it's hovering around the corner of Woodmill Boulevard and Peninsula. But when you go outside, we've got tons of traffic. Oh! Can you park there? Where's the... Where's the X7? The holidays. I don't know. The holidays? Someone, when someone parks, can I move then? Then, yeah, when, I asked Jake where the X... Oh, Bentley. Hello, Bentley. Hello, Nicole. How bad is the accident? They blocked, they blocked it's up. Insane. Is, it, is it closed off? Yeah, they the closed tree. it off. The guy went into the tree. Oh, my. Head on. Oh, man. That sucks. So now all of the... Watch out, Bentley. All the cars are coming this way. Yeah. This is what happens when there's when they shut down, when they shut down Peninsula Boulevard over there. Everyone comes through this name, this side, because there's no other way to go, unless you go the other way. It is. It really is. Yeah. It sucks. So I got my uh, my best friend's son and his baby fiance one day. We're joining us for dinner. I'm recording the, for the. I've been reading, recording all day. This is called the um, behind the scenes. The behind the scenes footage, Thanksgiving Day, 2021. You missed a live stream. You had a live stream. Yeah, for an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. Wait, I need to follow you. You should follow me. I do. Follow Sharing you. is caring. Wait, no, I do follow him. Yes. Mikey Pipes. And Bentley. <laughs> Bentley. Got blue eyes, huh? Or green eyes, blue green eyes. eyes yeah. It's whatever's behind him. Right? The uh, the the boys yeah. are in the cabana doing right. what they are doing. Yeah. Because they can't do that inside the house. Exactly. All right. Makes sense. If you go into the beach, make sure you bring a towel. Towel, he says. If you go to the beach, make sure you bring a towel. We're at the corner of Woodmere Boulevard, Peninsula. What's doing? Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, what's going on? How bad is it down YouTube? there? Yeah, it's going on YouTube. It's uh, it's smashing to a pole. Oh man! But I think I think it would have been worse on this side of the street because that's the real power line on the other side. Yeah. Wow. So maybe, you know how much? Maybe just a light. Lucky it's Thanksgiving because if it was during like during the week right now. Yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the diverting traffic and when you're parked, you see cars like going into cul-de-sac, like knowing the how to get out. Yeah, like, like, yeah. It's crazy. I know, I heard the helicopter. My dog's going crazy. Yeah, I don't want to be. That's, I hope he's okay, though. hope he's okay. All right, our thoughts and prayers to the occupants of that vehicle. I didn't want to really walk close. I don't want to disturb and interfere with the first responders, you know, issuing first aid or what have you. But I think at that stage of the game, the occupants have already been taken out. I didn't see any ambulances around, so looks like just maybe some detectives investigating. But our thoughts and prayers to those and their families. Hopefully, all as well. And while I'm staring staring out there, I had uh, you know my <laughs> my hat on and uh, picked up a new client. 
who lives in the neighborhood. He said, hey, oh, I heard about you, pipe, type, pipe doctor. I'm like, yeah, that's me, Mikey Pipes. So now I'm just heading home and uh, navigating through traffic because everyone's going through my neighborhood. <laughs> Damn it. Let's go interrupt the degenerates. I got my drink, my Grey Goose and Sprite, dripping in a pound of gold. Guys, I just thought of a, a great idea. I won't put you on YouTube, but I have I a great to be idea. On YouTube, right? I, I know. Be on I know too, if I post this, Zippy. it'll get flagged Zippy. for demonetization. Zippy. Don't put it on YouTube. I'm not. But I just thought of a great idea. I'm not even high, and I thought of this idea, right? Uh -huh. Check this out. The 8 p.m. Uh, evening news awesome. with Mikey Pipes. <laughs> <I love that. laughs> it should be like 9 or 10. Yeah. 10 o'clock? Yeah. What are you going to say? Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Brandon. It's, it's evening hour. Dude, you don't the 8pm evening news or whatever, 9pm. I mean, I can, it does, it does can you say let's go Brandon on an advertisement? Actually, Absolutely, say, I say it all the time. Every five I say it all the time. It matter, every like, five it's on YouTube. So like anyone watches or record, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, it's code happen. for... It's I know, but I could I could do a live stream. October 2nd. Yeah, I feel like people are... thoughts and feedback. What do you guys think? Of a brilliant idea I just thought of. I think it's brilliant. And if I think it's brilliant, you will agree. I hope so. What do you think about that? The 8 p.m. evening news with Mikey Pipes. And maybe I won't do it every every evening, but what do you think? We can start a new uh, a new playlist in the channel. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Still working on drink number two, but it's time for dinner. All right. Oh, give her, what, for, to pick up poop? Yeah, yeah we have have. Over there. Uh -huh. Right about the cooler. Sure. And that's Chippy's uh, thing is there too. All right, oh, we're going in. All right, we're gonna pop in the turkey. It's been carved already. We're gonna pop it in the oven. My bottom oven is set for 400 degrees. We're just gonna throw it in there for a hot minute. Maybe like a minute 30. Like a minute 30. And it's not gonna dry it out. It's just gonna quickly, quickly reheat. Going over to the dining room. We have a lot of work left in this room here, but let's get in there. Room wasn't built overnight. We got some salad with what I hate, which is quinoa. See that quinoa in there? Might as well, might as well, might as well want to choke myself. I want to choke myself. We're ready for Hanukkah. Ah. Oh. All right, yes. I gotta love my drink. Okay, we need a boy's picture with hats. A boy's picture with hats? Those blue glasses. These are my, uh, my bifocals. Are they new? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big hat, let's see. Oh my God. Come on, put it over your head. Pretend it's like a number nine uh, yarmulke. No, All right. What's the largest one? Number no, nine. The white, one, the white one will fit. Jake, what's the largest uh, keeper? This is a turkey. I'm a fucking turkey. He's a live turkey. Now it's cut him up. Everyone's getting their hats. How high are you guys right now, by the way? <laughs> Brian, you look, you look like a turkey. That's great. <laughs> and even, and even the call. Look at that. Oh, God. Davey's got one. <laughs> and Thanksgiving is all about having a great time with family and friends. Don't forget that. Feel generous on Thanksgiving. Drink fine water in a glass bottle from Tuscany. Like, this is not really from Maine. It's not really for me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You guys would have your thought shit up already. Yeah, it's around the corner. All right. Some of the sides are already out. We have some schnitzel. In case you don't know what that is, that's breaded fried chicken cutlets. We have some kind of cranberry. Cranberry. Cocoa? Is that, what, what is this, Jennifer? It's on. It's a cranberry apple very nice. Looks like we have some cranberries. We have some sweet potatoes and some 
Broccoli? I think it's broccoli. Cauliflower? Cauliflower. Wait for the food. Food's not yet. Food's not yet. I know. I know. Gravy. Mmm. Mashed potatoes. And you better start smashing that. Thumbs up button like you're smashing potatoes to make mashed potatoes. It's amazing to do it now. And if you want a magical wrench, you start smashing that dollar sign button down below. Tell me what slide into DM means. <laughs> Tell me. Nicole, you care to explain? I think it has something to do sliding. It's like you have to lick it before you stick it and slide it in. Let me explain. If you're really sliding into somebody's DM, there's no explanation. <laughs> what am I missing here? There's no explanation because you're sliding into it. No one, okay. you know what I mean? You were typing, you were DMing someone. Sliding though is, is supposed to be a finesse. When you're sliding, no one knows into about the it. Exactly, no one knows about it. It's like on the low. Like it's on the low, like a DM. It's a, oh, so let's say I was to slide into your DMs. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, yes, that would be Jacqueline, is that what that means? Yeah. We're having a conversation about what yeah. slide into DM means. So let's say I was to slide and direct message you and like under the oh, down low <laughs> and we keep it discreet, right? Is that what it means? No, it means like, like you're interested. What is that? Because I'm interested? Oh, so if I was interested, if I was, if I was in love with Selena Gomez, I want to slide into her inbox. <laughs> You know, that means deep and meaningful, by the way. Yeah. DM. Yes. Like a DMC, a deep, meaning, meaningful slide right in. <laughs> all right, so now let's see what all the trimmings we got here. We have some cool little cupcakes here. Mashed potatoes. We have, I don't know what that is. We got some meat. This, gravy, that. He's like very nervous. And unfortunately, there's no butter in the house. What? Yes, you can take out the turkey. It's been off. Why? Yeah, she tried. They really are special needs. Sped. Sped. Oh, it's not in there. Put it on the put it on the cooktop. You don't wanna. Don't wanna put it on there. There you go. Excellent. Great job. I'll make you some more room. Dun 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 dun. Just rip it open. Mm. That's for Jacob and Yossi to deal with. Jake, you gotta do the other one. And you have to, then you have to deal with that, those. I feel like if I eat one of these, like I'm a, I'm Fred Flintstone. Yeah. <laughs> right? Jake, you don't need the whole YouTube chicken. Let's make sure it Father. is. Father. Should I bring this out? Is this one ready to bring out? Oh, not that hot. Hello? What's wrong? You need to go back in? Is it dry or no? No, not dry. Or is it just cold? It's doable. You waited five minutes. Well, the gravy's oh, no, 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 another two minutes. The oven's on top's on 300. I'll put it in there now. I'll just throw it in there. I'll just take it out. Who cares? Yeah. The gravy's... Stick her in there. Stick it in. Yeah. It. Leave the cover off. Oh, the gravy's on. Well, it's not going to dry it out. Jake, what channel is football? Oh, man. Jake, you me. Oh, well, the other one. Are you going to keep that? You're gonna, what are you going to do with that? Put it in here, too? You can't forget about it. Okay. Aww. Okay. 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 Five minutes, then we'll start having dinner. What do we have to say, Grace? No, I have to wash his hands. We have to do, uh, do Havdalah. No, not Havdalah. I have to do Kiddush? No. Shabbos evening? No? Right, it's weird. No. Oh my God, dude. I started, I started on Friday night at Sam making Kiddush. I fully started the Kiddush at the end of And I stopped myself. And Sam's like, he has even said, I'm like, dude, dude, dude. I just started with Havdalah. I'm like, dude, I started with Havdalah. I hate me. <laughs> yes. Minus, minus our friends. Minus our friends, and minus, minus, your, minus the family because they're all over the place. But nonetheless, it's a great meal. And in five minutes, that turkey's being nice and hot. You know, 
using disposable stuff that helps you eat, but using using a plastic fork and knife to cut through turkey, that's just totally like retarded. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start off with some turkey gravy mashed potatoes. Like chopsticks. I saw it on my door. They look like chopsticks. Just like those those four chopsticks on top of an Asian heat exchanger. If you ever have an Asian over, yeah. <laughs> They They're multi-purpose. Exactly. You know? Multi-purpose fork right. and knife. Turkey. Where's the bigger piece? <laughs> I got the whole thing. Oh! Hope you made a good wish. Come on, it didn't break yet. Did it? Who's got the bigger piece, though? Becky. Got the bigger poos. Becky. R-rated. Yo, what's that? All right, I think Brian won. Yeah, I got it all. Nicole, yeah. no, Alright, let's see whose piece is bigger. Nicole. Uh, oh, yeah. Nicole. 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 No, Nicole. Nicole gets the top piece. Nicole. Yeah, Nicole got it. <laughs> what kind, what, what was the wish you made? I can't tell you. It's Why not? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'm sure if, you, if she tells you. <sighs> okay, who's the top? Alright, it's, it's dessert time. Let's review what we got here. I want it. Jamie, can you move for a second? Yeah. Hold on one second. Oh, my God. Is that a lotus Who'd pie? Who did that? Yeah. <laughs> Pumpkin pie, apple pie. Lotus ice cream. Who's 30 30 30 second birthday? 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. Okay. All right, dig in, boys right. and girls. And the only disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, is that Entenmann's no longer makes pies. They don't make it. They don't make Entenmann's does not make pies anymore. What about donuts? What about coffee? Yes, they make pastries and like little little muffins and things like that. But what a shame that Entenmann stopped making two of my favorite pies: apple pie and cream pie. No, um, apple pie and pumpkin pie. All right, guys, it's been a great day. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And we're gonna title it the 8 p.m. evening news. With Mikey Pipes. All right, guys, you start smashing that thumbs button. Let's show respect to YouTube. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this time next year, we will be well beyond 50,000 subscribers. And hopefully all those who go to the pool party will be around to see it next Thanksgiving. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.